Hi, it's Chester Tupper from Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to check to see whether a value in column A contains any of the text strings that we've stated here in column D. So essentially, you want to know whether the product is a pan product, a knife product. I'll put K and I to accommodate knives and knife. Um, and or whether it's a chocolate product. Okay. Now we're going to use a combination of if, or, and count if to perform this uh, calculation. So we've got count if, we've got or, and we've got if. And we'll be starting with count if. And we also need to know about wildcard characters. Uh, a wildcard character is the little asterisk key. Shift and eight on your keyboard, or you'll also find it on your numeric keyboard. And just to explain a little bit about how you use wildcard characters, it enables you to do like a partial match. So obviously none of these product names are exactly pan. It's the fact that pan appears somewhere within the product name. So to get that kind of contains criteria, you've got to put a wildcard character before the text string and after it. If I just had that, that would mean it would start with K and I. If I had the asterisk before it, it would end in K and I. And if I've got asterisks on either side, it means contains K and I. So that's a bit of a preamble to what we're doing. Let's get on with our formula. So we're going to start with count if, and what we want to do is well, we've got to complete these two uh, two arguments. The first argument is range. So this is what we're looking in. Now, normally when you use COUNTIF, you specify a whole range of cells that you're looking in. But don't forget what we're doing is we're saying, do any of these values appear in this cell? So actually our range is just one cell in this scenario. Now our criteria, this is where we need to use our wildcard characters because we're doing like a partial match. So we start with the first asterisk and we need to join it to our cell reference. So to join things, use the ampersand symbol. Uh, the technical word for this or the posh word for it is concatenation, but it basically joins text together. And what we're doing is we're joining it with these values here, all of them. We're checking to see if any of those values appear in this, in this cell here. And because we're doing a contains match, we need another asterisk there. So we put that in there and then close the bracket. And then I'm going to press enter now. If you're in Office 365 at this point, um, you're going to get this spill of values down into the cells underneath. If you're not in Office 365, it may throw up an error. I can't exactly remember what it's going to do, or it may show some sort of error within the cell or not calculate at all. Don't worry, I'm going to show you a way around this because we're going to add lots more things to the formula to finish it. But at the moment, what you can do in any version is if you just select uh, that formula and then press the F9 key on your keyboard, you can see it's returning an array of results, which is naught, 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 and naught. Now, basically, that means that neither pan, knife, or chocolate were found anywhere in that text string. And I'm just going to undo that, Control Z. Now, if I make this a truffle pan, which probably doesn't exist, I will get a one there. So let's see how that works. If you're not in Office 365, you can see now I've got a one because pan was found somewhere in that text string. Now these ones and zeros are important because one is the equivalent of true and zero is the equivalent of false. And that's going to be important. I'm going to undo that again. Now, again, don't don't worry if you're not getting these two zeros here or you've got something else in this cell because we need to complete this formula. Now, 
The next thing we're going to use is OR. Now, what OR does is no, normally you specify multiple tests, logical one, logical two, as is indicated here in the screen tip. And if OR, uh, well, what OR will do is look at all the tests, and if at least one of the tests has a positive result, a true result, then all will return true. In fact, it will only return false if none of the tests have been met. So what I'm going to do is put this in brackets. I'm putting the whole thing within the all function, and here I'll get a true. Now, um, if I took out the word pan there, I'd get a false. Now, the reason for that is, is that the or is essentially test, uh, looking at each of those tests do F9, well, it's not going to make any difference there, but if you remember what we're looking at here, I look at the uh, count if part of the formula, it will look at those, and if there's if one of those numbers is a 1, so one of the tests is returned a 1, then the OR will return true. It will only return false if you get three zeros. Okay, So that will basically tell us whether, if I put Pam back in, whether or not this text string contains one of these values okay now again if you're not getting true at this point or you're getting a different value don't worry we need to complete the formula a little bit more so what we want to do is convert this these trues and falses to uh, a yeses or a blank cell so we use an if here so we're saying if, this is our logical test that's giving us our true or false result. And if we've got a true, we just want to say yes. And then a false, we're just going to return a blank cell, an empty text string, two quotation marks. Now I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to copy it down, and you'll see it doesn't work at all. And the reason for that is, very silly of me, is that I didn't fix this here so I'm going to fix that cell reference because I always need to refer to those cells before I copy down and then when I copy again you'll see I'll just get the yeses where I've got a pan or a knife there are no chocolate items here now again this is only going to work like this if you're in Office 365 if it's not working for you you just need to make a slight change to what you do instead of pressing enter when you confirm the formula, you need to do Control Shift Enter, and that creates what's called an array formula. And you can see you've got brace brackets there, and then you can copy it down, and it will work for you. Okay. The reason we don't have to do Control Shift Enter in three six five is that Microsoft's totally changed the way Excel deals with array formulas, and Control Shift Enter is no longer required. Okay, so hopefully that's been useful to all of you. Finding whether uh, any value from a list of values appears in a text string. If you found this useful, please don't forget to subscribe and you hear about our latest tips and tricks. Thanks very much for listening.